What's up, gentlemen? So the unfortunate reality is that the majority of us were not born with Greek godlike bone structure or movie star good looks. But the great news, gentlemen, is that we can grow a beard which will automatically transform an average looking guy from a 4 to an 8.5. But if your beard is weird, it can actually have the reverse effect and make you less attractive than you actually are. Gentlemen, today I'm going over 10 of the biggest reasons why your beard looks bad. The first reason why your beard looks bad is that you're rocking a D-bag beard. D-bag beard essentially is any beard that is overly detailed, thin, edged up, totally skinny, just nasty, douchey. Your beard looks a little bit douchey, and by a little bit douchey, it looks totally douchey. Instead of detail and carving and making and everything like super thin, it looks a lot better when you actually allow your facial hair to follow the natural growth pattern. This doesn't mean you don't need to clean up or edge up on your cheeks or under your neck, but if you are somebody that is edging it up super thin, you look like a douche. But on the flip side, number two, if you're rocking a Unabomber beard, essentially a beard that is just crazy, nuts, wild, no maintenance, just like wild in terms of big, bushy, nasty, crazy, you look disgusting. Big beards are a thing, right? Personally, I think the bigger the beard, the little sketchier you may potentially look. But it is critical that regardless of the beard that you are rocking, whether or not it's big, it's small, it's sexy designer stubble, or it's like a few little straggly hairs, you are edging it up and keeping it tidy. Gentlemen, you gotta make sure the beard is neat, clean, and sexy. Speaking of sexy, the third mistake that makes your beard look bad is something that you think is making it look super sexy. Unfortunately, it makes you look a little bit weird and your beard actually creepy, and that is dying it super dark. Now I'm not mad at you if you want to cover your gray or you want to do a little something, right? Make yourself feel a little bit younger. That's fine. What looks really awkward is when you're a dude like over 50 and your beard is literally jet black. The good news is that there are beard dyes out there that will actually minimize the gray as opposed to camouflaging it completely. Fourth reason why your beard doesn't look as good as it should is that you're using a crappy beard grooming tool. So I consider myself a beard grooming tool expert. I have tried literally hundreds over the years, you know, and the truth is that if you're using a subpar grooming tool, you're not getting the best performance and your beard isn't looking as good as possible. The one grooming tool that I always go back to that I think is absolutely the best is the Brio Beardscape. Bottom line, this tool is the best on the market. If you are somebody that is looking to elevate their beard game, their grooming game, you got to hit that special link down below and check out the Brio Beardscape, right? This is the blacked out version, which is definitely a sexy option, but recently I upgraded. Producing the Brio Beardscape Pro. Guys, this is the ultimate in grooming experience. Not only do you get a badass Brio, you're gonna get extra attachments. They are double-sided. You can go from one millimeter all the way up to 18 millimeters. But it also comes with the Zero Blade. Check out how close the teeth are right? It is unbelievable how sharp and close this thing gets. All you do, boom, pop off your regular blade and pop on the zero blade and you are ready for action. The zero blade literally gets it like skin bald. It is unbelievable. The other cool thing about Brio's guys is that not only does it work on your beard, it works for all all of your manscaping needs. You guys are gonna love this. Guys, if you're ready to elevate and upgrade your beard grooming game, hit the link down below. Cost for a limited time, and while supplies last, guys, that link is special. There's also a limited time discount code. Personally, I would grab the Brio Beardscape Pro, all right? It's got all the tools. It's got that super sexy carrying case. It also comes with that zero blade, which is amazing, all right? But if you're like, yo, I just want a regular old Brio, can I grab that? Yes. The other thing that sets Brio apart from everybody else, guys, they have a two-year product warranty. They also offer a 60-day money-back guarantee. All right, they are confident that you're going to love this as much as I do. I'm confident you're going to love this as much as I do. So do not wait. Hit the link down below because this product is going to sell super quick. These kits are new and at the price they're selling them, they are going to fly. Unfortunately, guys, this discount is for a limited time. So if you're interested, you got to grab one because they do sell out. Guys, this tool is the best. Fifth reason why your 
beard looks bad is all about chin flakes, gentlemen. And the truth is, one of the reasons why you have chin flakes is because you're using beard oil wrong. But most guys do, right? Few drops in their hand, all right? And then just right there, okay, I'm, I'm good to go. Boom, my beard's conditioned. It's soft, it's silky, it's shiny. But here's the deal, gentlemen. Beard oil is not just about the hair. It's about what's underneath. You gotta work that beard oil down into your chin. And if you're like, yo, I don't really like the smell of beard oil, right? Because a lot of people don't. And I totally Really get that. Instead, what I'd recommend, use a little bit of your moisturizer, all right? The same stuff you use for your face, get it down in there. Guys, not only is this going to help eliminate chin flakes, it's going to make your beard healthier, look better, softer, sexier, and definitely sexy. The sixth reason why your beard looks really, really, really bad, really bad, and one of the biggest mistakes that I see all the time is all about where you trim underneath your neck. Now, I've talked about this in every single beard video I've done, but I still see a ton of dudes that are trimming their beard way too high. When you trim up here and expose this area of your face, or your I should say your fat, right? Because most dudes have a little extra LBs down there. It's making your jaw look weak. One of the beautiful things about beards is that it can strengthen a weak jaw. Even if your chin is like super strong, right? If you trim it wrong, it's going to make it look weaker. And so here's how it works. Ready? Once again, head straight, right? Take your finger, boom. Shave everything below, leave everything above unless you want to look like you have a double chin. The seventh reason why your beard doesn't look as sexy as you want it to is that you're young, right? You're a young dude and it hasn't actually filled in yet, all right? One of the beautiful things is that as you age, as you mature, your hair on your face will get denser, all right? If you're a young dude and you start to grow, you're like, yo, I'm Patch Adams, gentlemen. The good news is if you just wait a little more time, a little more testosterone, your beard will get better. One thing a lot of young dudes have been trying that I've heard has been working, unfortunately there haven't been too many studies, is about using minoxidil on your face, all right? Same stuff you use to regrow hair here. They're helping actually grow thicker facial hair for young dudes. The truth is, minoxidil isn't going to like add hair follicles to your face, but it does stimulate hair growth. And so logically, if you're a young dude and your follicles just really haven't started producing yet, the minoxidil may actually help facilitate the growth so it starts a little bit sooner. Eighth reason your beard looks not so good is that you're only rocking part of the beard. What I'm talking about are goatees. Goatees were super popular in like the 90s, right? I even rocked one for a while, right? Because technically I, I couldn't grow facial hair in other places and so I was like, yo, I can kind of grow a goatee. And I did. Unfortunately, goatees are a little bit weird and definitely not as stylish as a regular beard. But if you're somebody that can't actually grow hair up on his cheek or it's like super patchy or thin and you can grow a little bit of chin action, a little bit of stash action, I say go with that. It looks good. Just make sure there is boundary and there is structure or else you're going to be making the ninth mistake, which is your beard is going to be long, patchy, and nasty. If you want to instantly make your thin beard look thicker, guys, trim it short, all right? As you start to let those hairs grow, it actually makes your hair look thinner and your beard weaker and more patchy. Now, something else you can try, guys, in terms of patchiness is to actually brush and train your beard. Brush the hair in the direction that you need to cover, right? Now, the brushing is actually going to do two things. Number one, it's going to help train your beard to grow to cover the patchy areas, but the brushing also stimulates hair growth. And last but certainly not least, the 10th reason why your beard looks bad is that you haven't grown one. Oh, but Alpha, I tried to grow a beard for like six days and it just was a little bit patchy and weird and then somebody noticed that I was trying to grow one and I got embarrassed so I shaved it. Shh, gentlemen, listen. You need to try again. You need to try for a month, 30 days, baby. Let that bad boy run wild. Those follicles frolic like spawning salmon, swimming up a stream on your face. If you're somebody that has thought or has tried or has maybe contemplated growing a beard, gentlemen, now is the time. But you gotta stop shooting yourself in the bearded foot. A lot of guys are like, yo, I start, but then it gets weird. It's not as full as I think it should, right? Because you're thinking all those bearded stallions on Instagram or YouTube, right? It's not going to for a little while while. But as you let it grow, as you let it mature and come in, over the course of 30 days, you're going to know exactly what your beard is capable of. But while it's growing, gentlemen, you definitely got to remember to keep the boundary on your neck clean. But you got to prepare yourself for people to notice, right? A lot of people get embarrassed when somebody is like, yo, hey, Jimmy, are you growing a beard? Oh, uh, no, I just, I just, I just didn't shave for a few days, right? And you can clearly see like it was edged up underneath, whatever. That's fine. That's your story. But own it, gentlemen. Own it. Don't be embarrassed. Beards are bad ass. They're sexy. And if you grow one and avoid the 10 mistakes we talked about, it's also going to make you and take you from a four to an 8.5 in terms of sexiness.